So that's the Sumaragi Futures Institute of Technology. The Sumaragi Group is the largest corporation in the country, and the fruits of their cutting-edge research are gathered inside. If they're hiding it anywhere, it would be here. My organization, Shadow Yakumo, has already done everything they could to deal with the situation through legitimate means. But Sumaragi insisted on feigning ignorance from start to finish. Don't take this personally, Sumaragi. It's the secret you to blame. Kirin, Battle Priestess of Shadow Yakumo, moving out! Barriers, nothing to mess around with. Even so, this thing isn't going to keep me from completing my mission. Kirin, Battle Priestess of Shadow Yukumo, coming through! The barrier nullifies all ballistic impacts from the outside. It looks like normal attacks won't have any effect. I bet if. Who's that? And how to get a halt! Stay your business! Sorry, but don't worry. I won't kill you. If you want to blame someone, blame your superior. If this facility is actually clean, Kaguma will have a lot of explaining to do. Sounds like their secret is in a pretty bad mood. Taste in laser traps, but I won't let that stop me from getting through here. <laughs> Stuff like this takes me back to my early training days at Shadow Yukumo. Need to be careful not to step on any spiky floors. They won't take me down in one hit, but they really suck and really hurt. If I can jump in the middle of a dash, I can jump further than normal. Just like... Oh. According to the mission briefing, it should be located in the deepest section of the basement. Stronger. I guess the primal dragon's close. This thing's called a hexapile, I think. No doubt about it. That is a massive amount of glaives. Ugh, these guys have no idea how much trouble it was to forge all those swords. Looks like it really was here. Huh? What's this about? Uh, who are you? Primal dragons. Monsters awakened to power beyond Septimas, ascending even adepts. I heard it was bad, but that thing doesn't even look human anymore. Barging in here like that. Rude. E expediently rude, I say. What in tarnation do you want? I am Kirin from Shadow Yakumo. I'm here to clean up the mess you made. If you want to leave here alive, I suggest you get out while you still can. Shadow Yakumo? The ones who control the glaives? Did they figure out that our reply was less than honest? But, but I must say, we haven't done anything wrong. Without all these glaives, we'd never be able to keep him in check. 
The glaives aren't capable of suppressing this much power. It's escaping! Simulations. <laughs> As always, our soothsayer's prediction was right on time. Too on time, if you ask me. If we had this prediction sooner, things could have been much less messy. Oh well. Hey you, Lord of Dragons! I'll take that power and bind it properly with my radiant fetters. Your fate is sealed! power beneath the surface the entire time it was sealed away. If you had simply come clean with us, we could have worked together on this. None of this would have needed to happen. <laughs> hey, take it easy. I got this. Using my Radiant Fetter Septima, I'll have no problem stopping it. <laughs> Power is weakening. Now's my chance. Uh, uh. What happened? I'm not berserk anymore. The glaives were only barely keeping me in check. Azure Striker Gunvolt. Former primal dragon and wielder of the world's most powerful septima. You must take responsibility for what is about to occur, Gunvolt. Responsibility? About to occur? Who are you? I'm Kieran of Shadow Yakumo, and I'm here to borrow your power. The world changed forever when humans with strange new powers known as Septimus began to appear. As more of these adepts appeared, the world was thrown into chaos. In our country, the Sumeragi group used technology to bring peace and order while seizing power. However, they were only able to maintain that illusory peace through human experiments on countless numbers of adepts. Perhaps it was inevitable that a group of rebels would appear to fight against Sumeragi and their artificial peace. Even I, Gunvolt, once counted myself among the members of a rebel group. 
The battle was long and grueling. When it was over, I found myself awakened to a new power that was a step above Septimus, the primal dragon. Its power is both dangerous and uncontrollable. I surrendered to Sumeragi, my enemy. By using me as a research subject, they were able to seal away the out-of-control power. But... It was only a matter of time before such a shoddily constructed seal would break. Our soothsayer at Shadow Yakumo gave a single prediction just the other day, actually. They said the primal dragons and the ruler who creates and controls them would appear. You think I'm... the ruler of the primal dragons? Yep, but it's gonna be okay. Because my Radiant Fetter Septima was able to completely seal away your primal dragon. Of course, now we have a new problem on our hands. Sumaragi totally cornered the energy market while you were sealed away. They were using the crazy amounts of energy you were leaking to provide electricity to the entire country. They even called their energy division Gunvolt Electric. They're probably regretting that one now. The energy you gave off was also emitting dragon radiation. That's energy waves that can turn other adepts into primal dragons. Are you serious? Just a little exposure doesn't seem to be a problem. That's why no one noticed how dangerous dragon radiation was until now. Many decades have passed since you were sealed away. After all that time being exposed to dragon radiation, primal dragons are starting to appear among the adept population. Gunvolt, you may not have meant to cause this problem, but you will help me solve it. I will have you work with me as I seal away these primal dragons. No objections here. If this is my sin, I will atone for it, but... Why exactly have I turned into this... dog thing? So, after the fight with Kirin, I briefly returned to my original form, but almost immediately after, I turned into... this. <sighs> I have no idea either. This is my first time sealing a primal dragon, after all. I didn't know my fetters could cause something like this. Maybe it's because you were a primal dragon for so long? <laughs> it's a good look on you, though. Very cute. Anyway, thanks to our negotiations with Sumaragi, you and I will be joining the Sumaragi group as legitimate employees. Gotta have Sumaragi take responsibility for actions, right? The Bureau of Dragon Saviors. An anti-primal dragon task force with just two members. I can't believe they agreed to this. Hey, Kirin, what gives? I even look like a dog on my company ID. Oh, that's weird, huh? You gotta be kidding me. Hi, Kitty. How's it going? Getting used to life at Sumeragi? Hey, Lumen. It's pretty amazing here. There is some real state-of-the-art tech that's even nicer than what Shadow Yukumo has. I'm a little jealous. <laughs> you know I'm a part of that state-of-the-art tech, right? Come on, you're still your own Septima. You're just pretending to be their technology. That's right. Lumen is the latest model of AI idol developed by Sumeragi. <laughs> that's what they tell the public, at least. The truth is that she was created by Kirin and I combining our Septimus to make an image pulse. My Azure Striker can give a physical form to images based on memories of adepts I've encountered in the past. However, since adepts themselves are so complex, the image dissipates almost immediately. That's when we use talismans prepared by Kirin's radiant fetters as a medium. The image is then sealed in place, creating an image pulse. Naturally, a recreated Septima is no match for the real thing. But we can still use a variety of Septimal powers. There are many kinds of image pulses, such as passive ones that enhance one's abilities. 
as well as skills that resemble those of the original adept. To acquire an image pulse, we need to find image fragments called image chips during missions. Picking them up will earn us image pulses once the mission is complete. Come to think of it, why don't you try equipping that image pulse we just got? You can equip it by opening the menu and selecting it on the passive image pulse screen. With that equipped, you'll be able to use my Pervasion ability. Got it. I'll be able to give it a try later. It's so strange, though. Every other image pulse we created hasn't said a thing. Then there's Lumen, acting like she's living and breathing. I can't be sure of the cause, but for a while, Lumen was a part of me. I was eventually able to release her, but that might have something to do with it. I guess. She was someone really important to you, right? Maybe that's why. Anything is possible. Crap, I forgot my charger! Hey, Gunvolt! Can you charge my phone with your Septima? I guess I could, but... For someone who's seen my primal dragon form, I feel like you have a lot of faith in me. I also have a lot of faith in my Septima! Radiant Fetter's seal is unbreakable. Anyway, can you charge my phone or not? I think I'll pass. I wouldn't want to break your phone. I don't have as much precise control over my power as I used to. It could be because of the seal, or maybe it's this body. Okay then, shake! Um... You won't charge my phone, you won't shake. How about sit? Can you sit? Jeez, you're something else. <laughs>